It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? It's coming up next, live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus Germany. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And the centerpiece of the attack today, Thomas Müller. And the game begins. Goretzka. Sané. Now they stopped them in their tracks. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986. Runners up in 1913, 1990 and eight years ago. Oh, Derek, can he finish this? Oh, that was a chance to give them an early advantage. Well, they should be off to a flyer here. And that was a poor effort. He must hit the target. Rodrigo de Paul. I mean, let's face it, when Messi is on the pitch, you cannot take your eyes off him. What do you think he'll offer in this game, Stuart? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. It did look on for them, but not to be. On attacking possibilities. Gundogan. Goretzka. Now they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. But then the one that fails to hit its target. And they will be awarded a free kick for that.
Marcos Acuna now with Messi nicely timed tackle Sané and teammates to play it to a meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw in Goretzka and it's in we've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final one to Sabre Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then the finish from Gundogan was never in doubt. He's such a good technician. Goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Passes like that, very much in his repertoire. And given away. Goretzka. Sané. Can he take advantage? Couldn't quite hang on. Fernandez. Alvarez on to Messi very alert defending to put a stop to the chance Gnabry in search of space well the crossing needs to be a bit better than that Messi And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. And moving the ball nicely. Oh, a smart stop. Yeah. And taken short. And as those stats tell us, Germany have been second best in terms of possession. But when they have... Messi! Oh, keeper in control. Who can they pick out? Not the best clearance. Just the challenge that was required. Raum. Müller. Serge Gnabry. Müller. On to Goretzka. Can he find the net? Oh, good work by the keeper. And deciding to go short with this one. Gnabry. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. Goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Number 14, Jamal Musiala. Romero. De Paul, Lionel Messi, 
Oh, fancy footwork. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Müller. Goretzka. Zane has it. Joshua Kimmich. Müller. Opportunity here, and there it is! Another goal, and surely there's no way back from this now! Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So on with the action, and I must say it's been a thorough masterclass from Germany so far, and you sense it's a question of how many. Enzo Fernandez, Molina, Messi. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. The switch of play now. They've given it away. One advantage with them, referee says play on, but it didn't end up being a significant advantage, and so a free kick here. Well, now he's walking on eggshells, you might say. Next time it'll be yellow. Gundogan. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Marcos Acuna. Now with Messi. Lionel Messi. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, as you can see, that's a great bit of skill. He times this so sweetly. What a good goal that is. a tale of four goals in this match now 3-1 it is Leroy Zane Musiala Zane has it offensive Brazilians to shut them down well Argentina are enjoying most of the possession but they aren't doing enough with it they need to pass it quicker Play forward earlier and show more energy, otherwise they won't get back into this one. Well, perhaps they can do something better with the ball now. Being egged on by the crowd. Lionel Messi. How about the cross? No nonsense clearance. Getting in there to intercept. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. It could be up for grabs. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Leon Goretzka. Committed challenge.
Rodrigo de Paul. Messi. And they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Lisandro Martinez. Top class defending. Could reduce the deficit. And the ball is loose. Terrific piece of anticipation. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Measured pass intended for Zane. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Sané. Is it going to be? Still alive. Applying vigorous pressure. Well, what a brilliant save that was. How did he keep that out? That's useful play. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Opportunity to deliver the cross. A chance to eat into their lead. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And taken short. Otamendi. He might be able to carve something out. Well, tremendous block. Just 10 minutes to go. Gnabry. Well, he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw-in. Goretzka. Here's Zane. Chances on. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. there were any lingering doubts about the outcome surely they now have been removed now well Molina Lionel Messi Messi looking for the through ball well it looked like it might lead to something very positive indeed but a useful interception Müller Goretzka has it now well, they might be onto something. Gunduan. And a fine stop. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And the short option preferred. Gnabry. Well, an attempt to forget all about, unfortunately. Yeah, got it all wrong, trying to pass it into the corner, opened up his body, but didn't make the right sort of contact. Enzo Fernandez. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Messi. Molina. De Paul. Disappointing pass. And there goes the final whistle. Germany have won their fifth World Cup. And what a performance from these players. Germany have been absolutely brilliant in this tournament.
Germany world champions. These players following in the footsteps of Mario Götze and company when they defeated Argentina eight years ago, Stuart. And this has been as good as any tournament for them. They've been absolutely outstanding with their football. Tactically, they've been brilliant. And just listen to these fans. They've got right behind the team. It's been a great performance.